Uh, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Turn the scars further into partial fraction decomposition and show basically why the uh, techniques that I showed in my earlier videos, uh, they don't work for improper fractions. Uh, basically, in my earlier videos, I stated that partial fraction decomposition only works uh, for proper fractions and not improper fractions. Thus, uh, for improper fractions, we first need to... Uh, uh, break them down to proper fractions using polynomial long division. So make sure to watch that in my last video. Basically, if you look at a proper uh, fraction uh, like this one here, as you can see, if you were to multiply this denominator out, you'll get an x cubed. So in this case, you'll have an, uh, an x on the top versus, well, an x cubed at the bottom there. So in this case, this is proper because the degree at the denominator is higher than the degree at the numerator. And when we apply the techniques uh, which, which I showed in my earlier video on decomposing uh, fractions, as you can see, we would write them out like this, a over x, and since this is a uh, nonlinear uh, uh, factor right here, this x squared plus 3, we would write it as bx plus c divided by x squared plus 3. And you can see my earlier video on how I would basically decompose this. And in this, we would just basically solve for A, B, and C. So, but now if we look at, let's say, an improper fraction such as this, as you can see in this case, uh, there is an x5 in the denominator, so there is, I mean, in the numerator, so there's an x5 versus, well, in here, there's an x squared, there's an x. Eventually, if you multiply these out, you'll get the largest degree as an x3. So as you can see, you have a degree 3 in, in the denominator versus a degree 5 in the numerator. So this is not proper right here. So now to quickly do recap on what proper and improper fractions are. Basically, a proper fraction has a denominator with a higher degree than the numerator. So in, in this case, you have a degree 3 versus degree well 1 right here. And then improper fractions have a denominator with smaller than or equal to, degree, it equal to degree as with the numerator. In this case, it's smaller than this 5, so 3 versus 5. So now let's see what happens if we will apply the same method as for proper functions, but now this, this time on improper uh, fractions right here. So if we write this uh, improper fraction here, and if we were to do the same method, well, we would have, this is a nonlinear, so we would have ax plus b divided by, well, x squared plus 1 as this partial fraction right here using this factor. And then we would add another coefficient c, and now we have an x minus 2. And now in the, in the technique, basically, we would multiply both sides by, well, x squared plus 1 times x minus uh, 2 right here, just so we cancel out this denominator on every uh, single fraction here. So when we do that, we get basically an x5 minus 2x4 plus x3 plus x plus 5 is equal to, well, ax plus b. And now this x squared plus 1 cancels with x squared plus 1, so we'll have an x minus 2. Now we add c times it by, well, this x minus 2 cancels, so we have x squared plus 1. So now, uh, as you can see, we can't really go further here. I'll explain why. Basically, when we have this, as you can see, this, this whole left side, we have, well, in this case here, we have an x5 degree, we have an x4 degree, we even have an x3 degree in this case. But when we look at, well, this side, this is we're just using the exact same techniques that I showed for proper fractions in my earlier videos. As you can see, when we multiply this out, we'll eventually have, well, x multiplied by x. So we'll have, in this case, an x squared. And in this case, we have an x squared. So basically, our highest degree in this right side is an x squared. But in this case, we even have an x5, x4, x3. So we can't... Uh, apply this method because these coefficients will not be correct if we solve for them. Yeah, because there's just no uh, there's no x x variable to a high enough degree, so there's no way of getting this x to the power of five or x to the power of four. And now just uh, one more case to solve here is if uh, another improper fraction is basically if the numerator had the same degree as the denominator. So in this case, if we just had x cubed plus 1 divided by, well, x squared plus 1 times by x minus 2, 
in this case here, we have this x squared and there's an x, so eventually you can multiply those out. So this will have an x cubed on the top and x cubed here. So these are the same degrees here. So again, this is the exact same right side. So if we uh, equate this on the right, ax plus b divided by, well, x, uh, this, is, this one's gonna be actually, yeah, x squared plus one plus c, x minus two. This is gonna be the same thing as this right side and we eventually get, well, in x squared, uh, the maximum variable or degrees x squared, but there's an x cubed on top. So in, in this case, you know, we get an x squared, and then, but the, there's gonna be an, well, an x cubed on the numerator on this. So again, we can't do this here. So we can't equate these because there's an x cubed, there's an x squared. So we cannot somehow get an x cubed on the right side. Yeah, so basically thus, uh, I just wanted to explain this here. We can't use, uh, yeah, we can't use, um, or I mean, we can't decompose improper fractions in the same way we would decompose proper fractions. Uh, and, but like I showed in my early video, uh, in my last video, basically we first need to perform polynomial long division on the improper fraction uh, before obtaining a proper fraction and then decompose it accordingly to our uh, methods. So, and you can see that in, uh, in the links below. Basically, this is all for today. I just wanted to show why we can't just use the same methods uh, for proper fractions. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below and stay tuned for another math easy solution.